Hello, my name is Susie, and in today's webinar, we're going to talk to you about the new Lloyds Bank Business Finance Assistant and show you how it can provide you with an overview of your finances to help you manage your business more efficiently. There are a wide variety of features available to support your business, such as seeing all your business bank accounts in one place, sending quotes and invoices to customers, managing your business expenses, forecasting your future cash flow, preparing your financial accounts, and submitting your VAT return directly to HMRC. Alongside your accountant, Business Finance Assistant can become your business partner on a daily basis. There are two ways to log in to your Business Finance Assistant account. First, from the Lloyds Bank website, select your turnover, and in this case, I'm going to select a 0 to 3 million pound turnover, and then click accountancy software. You will see a box saying already registered and a button to the side with the option to log on. Then simply use your email address and password you chose when you registered. Alternatively, if you have logged into your internet banking, you can select a business finance assistant on the left-hand menu, which will direct you to the login page. When you log in for the first time, business finance assistant will ask you to add your Lloyd's business current account. This is important because this is what powers the tool and unlocks lots of the great features, such as the cash flow forecasting, creating your financial accounts, and your digital VAT return if you are registered for VAT. You can also add other accounts from Lloyd's or other banks at any time from within the tool using the same process. So let's have a look now at some of the main features on the Business Finance Assistant homepage. The first important piece of information that Business Finance Assistant provides you with is your cash flow forecast. This is more than a basic account balance as it uses your bank transactions to predict how your business is currently performing. It provides you with a clear view of how your available cash flow will evolve over the next few months. And this is a useful tool for any business owner as the cash flow forecast will allow you to plan ahead for any shortfalls. As you can see on the screen here, the business is predicting a cash flow shortfall in the coming months. You can also click on each month to view what went into this forecast in more detail. As you can see, this is a combination of invoices and expenses added to Business Finance Assistant, plus a prediction based on transactions that have been going through your bank account in the past. Another key feature of Business Finance Assistant is your profit and loss report. This will give you an instant understanding of how your business is doing in terms of profitability. This is often more important than knowing your year-to-date revenues, allowing you to focus more on the right products and customers for your business. Business Finance Assistant also automates your VAT return and lets you submit your return for making tax, dig making tax digital directly with HMRC. Any potential compliance risks can be avoided thanks to the HMRC compliant VAT feature within Business Finance Assistant. Before you start, all you need to do is make sure you have registered for Making Tax Digital on the HMRC website. VAT calculations are based on information that you have added to Business Finance Assistant, so it's important that you provide true and accurate inf and complete information on the tool and verify all of the information that you use. If you wish, you can invite your accountant to access a business finance assistant to review your financial information and tax return prior to submission. Of course, these are just a few of the valuable things that business finance assistant can do for you. If we look at the left hand menu, you can actually manage your entire business from business finance assistant from customizing quotes for clients, to sending out invoices and invoice reminders, from creating your customer database, to keeping all your product and service details up to date. You can take photos of your receipts 
so you can add them to your expenses and you can generate your financial reports. One of the activities you will use a business finance assistant for most often is reviewing and categorizing your transaction. This is sometimes called transaction reconciliation. Let's have a look now at the bank transaction tab on the left-hand side. It's important that you regularly categorize and review your bank transactions to make sure they match against your invoices and expenses. Doing this correctly will make sure your tax calculations, cash flow forecasting, and profit and loss tools that I mentioned earlier are up to date. This will help you understand your business performance in more detail. In order to categorize your bank transactions, you must first have added your Lloyds Bank business account to the tool, as I showed you earlier. And once you've added your account, you will then see all your transactions in the bank transactions section. Business Finance Assistant automatically categorizes the majority of your bank transactions for you. It's a good idea to review these and you can recategorize your transactions if you need to. The tool then learns this for the future. So firstly, check your notifications, which is the bell symbol at the top right of the screen. And here you will see what actions you need to complete. However, sometimes a business finance assistant doesn't recognize a transaction and you'll need to categorize this yourself, which is very quick and easy. And the more you do this, the more business finance assistant learns and can auto categorize these in the future. So to review and categorize your transactions, make sure that you are in review mode. Use the slider next to the bell symbol on the top right of your screen. You will see three tabs, reviewed, which is represented by the green line, to review, represented in amber, and then to categorize, represented by the red line. So this reviewed tab, here you don't need to do anything with these transactions. You've already reviewed them and you've already confirmed that they have been categorized correctly. In the to review tab, here you need to confirm that the list of transactions have been categorized correctly against your invoices and expenses. If a transaction is correct, click the tick to the left of the transaction, and this transaction will be then moved to the reviewed list. If the transaction is incorrect, click the arrow to the right of the transaction where you can select the correct category and VAT information. In the to categorize tab, if you click the arrow to the right of the transaction, you can select the correct category and VAT information. There are lots of different categories available to select within Business Finance Assistant. For example, you can categorize your expenses as a travel, or utilities, etc., or your incomings as a sales services or sales products. And if you can't find the category that you're looking for, you can create your own. You can also use a business finance assistant to complete everyday tasks, including creating quotes, invoices, expenses, and adding products and services. If you want to send your customers quotes and invoices, First, you need to add the products and services that you offer. So let's look now at adding a new product or service. So click on the left-hand side, products and services. And then on the top right, click a new product or service. Here you have the tab for service, and here you have a tab for product. You need to fill out the fields, and then click on the advanced tab and it's important that you link your product or service to an income account, and also you need to assign the correct VAT rate. This is very important. And then click Done when you've finished. This new product or service will be added to your list of products and services on the products and services page. Now, let me show you how to create a new invoice. So click on the left-hand side, uh, invoices, and then on the top right, 
click New Invoice. You need to populate the required field. So here we'll view the customers, select the customer. Here you need to add a new product or service that have already been added. You check your VAT rate. This is very important. So you make sure you have the correct VAT rate. And once you've checked all that, you can click Done. And this will then, uh, you'll be brought to a preview page where you can review the invoice and you can customize it by changing the color, the font, the logo, or adding a header or a footer. When you finalize the document, you can send it by email to your customer, and you have the, also have the option to download it and print it. Once you've, sent, once you've sent the invoice, it will be added to your list of invoices on the invoice page. Alternatively, if you have already created a customer quote, you can easily convert the quote to an invoice. And there's a useful article in the frequently asked questions which states how to do this. It's also worth noting that as soon as an invoice has been paid and the transaction is visible in your account, then your invoice will automatically be marked as paid or settled. And then you can send it directly to the customer via the system as a sales receipt. Now let's look at creating a new expense. So if you have a photo, of a receipt or an expense, you can upload this, and Business Finance Assistant will automatically read this photo and pre-populate many of the expense fields for you. So let's go to New Expense, and here you have the option to either create uh, an expense manually or upload a receipt. So let's click on Upload Receipt, and we will select a photo of your receipt the tool will automatically fill in the expense details for you. And be sure to check that these are correct, including the category and tax rate. The system can learn from your input for future autom automation. And by validating this expense, you are adding it to your cash flow forecast. Press Done, and this new expense will be added to your list of expenses on the expenses page. Alternatively, you can create an expense manually. If you click a new expense, create manually, and then you can key in the information required. By adding a manual expense, you can also attach a photo of your receipt and add it to the expense by following these steps. So you simply find the receipt, uh, find the expense, click justify, choose the photo, and then it will add it to your files. The photo receipt will then be stored alongside this expense. Your business finance assistant will proactively send you alerts for overdue invoices and all other important information you need to know regarding your banking and your business. One more feature of business finance assistant is that you can add an unlimited number of users to your account so your accountant or bookkeeper can access all your company information too, which simplifies the whole accounting process. So this can be found under your profile on the top right-hand side of the screen and then manage users. So as we've seen together today, Business Finance Assistant can be your business partner on a daily basis. To get the most from the tool and benefit from all of the features that we've run through today, you just have to link your Lloyd's Business Current Account to get started. Once you've linked a Lloyd's Business Bank Current Account, you can link a bank account from other providers as well. If you need any extra support, you will find a comprehensive set of frequently asked questions, additional support articles, and how-to videos in the help and feedback section of the tool. As a, as a support for business finance assistant is a digital-only service, you can also email us by selecting Contact Us in the same Help and Feedback section. Thank you for attending this webinar. I hope the information that I have shared with you today was useful and informative.